so in today's video we will be learning on the features of elevator which is a part of task executor object library in Fluxim. so elevators are mostly used to transfer material at certain datum so with the z-axis so this is what where the elevators are used so what we are going to do is we are going to create a model using elevator and we are going to understand the properties of the elevator in detail and we'll model the flexim model together so let's begin understanding elevators in task executors hey guys welcome to the channel if 4.0 this is ajay so in today's uh, video we will be understanding the features related to elevator which is the task executor object in the previous video we have understand what are forklifts operators and the agvs and our current video will be on elevator so let's understand how we can use this elevator object for in our flexim modeling what are the features of the elevator we can use what are the triggers we can use and how this elevator can make our simulation model visibility easier and will help us in analysis so what we are going to do is we are going to use this elevator before we begin I'll just give you a small short definition what elevator is so the elevator object and the flexim modeling is basically an object used to transfer the material uh, which transfer the material at certain datums so at certain levels along z-axis so we will start modeling now will bring the source as we every time brings in our modeling we'll use the box we'll make into arrival time as one and this source we will be connecting to one of the queue where the parts will be accumulated now what we need to do is we need to use elevator to transfer the material at z axis upwards or downwards depending on the requirement what we will be doing is we will be laying off three conveyors which will be situated at certain z axis so this is at 0 1 this we will put it as 3 so at a distance of 3 meters and another conveyor will put at 6 and another conveyor at say 8 so we have eight different z axes that is we are having four different z axes for this four different conveyors we'll go into the top view and we'll align this we'll make this perspective projection off and we'll make all this conveyors onto alignment yes it's done now what we are going to do is we are going to connect it to the queues so what I'll do is I'll connect all the output from the conveyor to one of the single queue so this is the connection made now what we will do is this queue one will supply the material to all these conveyors situated at different z axis via elevator so what I have done is I have center connected elevator to the queue and what I'll do is I'll use transport now in the elevator we'll go for the elevator properties statistics as it is we have it for all another task executor same we are having input output current content state time and so we are having visuals we can change colors datums visuals we can apply labels we can change the capacity also so if required we can change the capacity currently we are keeping capacity of one load time unload time we can put the timings here which are to be seconds if you want in minutes you can enter those timings here then what to do what should the elevator do when it is supposed to go to breaks the strategy we need to put here and then there are traveling speeds so properties related to travel maximum speed acceleration deceleration flip threshold navigator and these these are some of the uh, properties so this mostly 
will be used for forklifts, EGVs and operators and not for elevators because the elevator is a fixed entity rotating in a certain constrained zone. So in the dispatchers basically we need to put the strategy that where this elevator should pass the material to. So currently we have kept as first available what we'll do is we'll put it to round robin if applicable. The reason is I want this elevator to supply the parts to all the conveyors rather than only sending it to the first conveyor itself. And then we can put the queue strategy. I'll put it uh, as sort by task sequence priority as of. So we'll let's reset the model and we'll, we'll run the model. So I'll make this a different view so you can have a better view. I will make the connections off so I do not want to see those connections in and just you can see how this elevator supplies the parts onto the conveyors at, situated at different Z axis. So you can see uh, the elevator is having its own statistics so when we go to the top so it, its inputs, its outputs, the current content which stays for 0 0.5 seconds then uh, basically it is the content so half part stays so maximum only one content we have so this is the average maximum only one content as we have kept the capacity as one stay time is basically how much time the part stays on the elevator on an average it's three seconds maximum five seconds minimum 1.9 seconds so what we will do is we'll try another method where we'll put the capacity as 10 Okay, and we'll raise it and run. So the elevators can put 10 parts at a time and it can supply steadily. So you can see uh, into the statistics now, the content, current content maximum we have taken is four parts as of not 10 parts. So if you want that this elevator should go or it should lift 10 parts always, then we need to put some of the codings inside here we can also put into the triggers here so we can preempt and we can put the constraints that only when if you have 10 content the elevator should begin or else it should not so that way we can control it but this is very free flow you can put the capacity here it will go on accordingly but it depends on first available basis so you can see here it is not taking 10 parts it is only taking four parts because it has to supply four at a time so the output is four that's the reason the elevator picks only four parts at maximum so i'll reset this and i will will check what it does if we are going to perform a batching of 10 we'll reset and we'll run so it will not flush the parts unless it has 10 parts so we'll check now the elevator still has the maximum capacity of 4 so basically the elevator loads only that much part which it needs to like it is equal to the output ports so it has the output ports of 4 so it is having a maximum content carrying capacity as 4 it is not taking parts more than four so this is all about elevators here there are different triggers which we can use on draw pre research stop exit entry on load unload it depends on how is the requirement of it so you can see how it looks the basically the movement of the elevator is very soft modeling looks awesome and uh, the logic which we have prepared is running well so this is where elevator is used to transfer the material at the datum of z axis so you can see how it looks so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please like share and subscribe to our channel to get more informative videos on flexim simulation modeling Thank you. We'll meet into the next video, which we will be bringing up for robot into the task executor flexing objects. Till then, thank you. Bye bye. Take care.